Hey, level one. I thought it would be good to give you guys a little video just with some pointers of what you need to do on this grid drawing positive and negative exercise. So you are given two viewfinders right here. And one of the viewfinders is going to be for this particular drawing. And then this one will be for this series of drawings. So the goal behind this is to, and you can see in, in my colored areas, is to look at the negative spaces right here, the spaces in black, and look at those shapes. You're, you're actually drawing those shapes in order to get the white space right here, which is the actual object. So I'll show you just little tricks of things that I know uh, how to do. One thing that you can do with your viewfinder, and use your viewfinder throughout the whole process but one thing you can do you can see this viewfinder has uh, little bullet points right here on it and you can actually place this on here and connect these just with a, a really really fine soft line and this will help you to divide your space and just further see what you need to look at as you're drawing. So what's over here is exactly what's going to go over here. So your job during this is to truly look at the positive and negative space and copy exactly what you see in those areas. So after I have this, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to flip back and forth from just the handout that you guys have to this colored one. Um, what I'll do is I will end up starting just in a section of this particular uh, drawing right here. So I'm going to put this right here and I want to focus really you can see, I don't know if you can tell that this is blue, but I'm going to focus on that little shape right there, right above his antenna right there. So if you look right here, you can even take this with your pencil. You can kind of fill this in and just, and just look at it and observe it and then try to emulate that on the opposite side right there. So uh, what I'll do right here is... I'll go ahead and I'm going to make a little mark as to where I think that rectangle ends in relation to this line. I'm looking at just this little quadrant right here and I see there's this much negative space. So I'm going to make a little mark right there. One thing that I end up doing is kind of like one of those connect the dots drawings. I'll make a little dot where certain things begin and end before I actually fill in some spaces. So from my dots, I'll end up connecting the space and I'll end up filling in the dark part. What I'm not doing is I'm not just simply drawing the whole thing out. I'm actually looking at this space and I'm filling in the background before I do anything else. So I'll do that. And then the next little space that I'm looking at here to emulate is this hot pink section right here. The thing that I, that I do know is this little quadrant right here, it passes through. You can kind of see this little section. So there's a little bit of that triangle left over right there. So I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm working. So I'm going to look at how much this, and I'm not going to forget about my little antenna, antennae, antenna right here. I'm going to 
draw this is just a straight on flat line right here that's horizontal I'm gonna look at that in relation to this space up here and then it just goes diagonal down here now if you look at it in relation to this line it ends about below the middle part of that grid line right there so I'm gonna take it and I know there's like a little space right here I'll kind of skip right there because I know there has to be something right there so I know it's gonna go this way it's gonna end up stopping right here but we're going to draw this little triangular shape right here and that triangular shape this little part ends like if you look at this little line right here it's going to end at the bottom of the top third of that so you can take that and like connect that with a line and then what we can do we're gonna fill this little part in right here okay you can see that little antenna and then part of that little arm is right there I know we shouldn't be naming things but that's that's kind of what it is. Now, where this little quadrant is, it ends up being, um, if you look at it, there's like a little square that's, that's right there. So it starts right around the, that bottom third. You could go ahead and fill in a little square if you make a little mistake of course you can use your eraser right here um, so we're going to go and look at this little section right right there so we're looking at the green right now so this little it's a little leg but we're i'm trying not to name it so much but you kind of need to know what in the world I'm talking about here it it goes up here and it hits if you look at it it's hitting right in the middle of those two lines right about in the middle right there and it ends right there and it's just a it's just a diagonal line right here And if you look where it ends, it ends almost where that little quadrant line is. And then it comes straight down. One thing that you'll notice about this, this almost looks like the roof of a house. It's like a triangle right here. And then you have like a rectangle. You have this weird thing coming out but that's one of the things that I'm looking at right here of course this thing connects to that uh, shape right there and then what you have right here you can kind of see that little bitty there's a little bitty triangle of white space that ends right there and then you'll end up taking this and you can fill in this little quadrant right here. You can use a uh, marker or you can use graphite like I have. Um, I've seen people use colored pencil on this. Okay, so I'm marking where this is on here. If you look at the center of this it's uh let's say it's about it's about the center sometimes it takes a couple of marks to to get it right but that's uh that's about it okay and 
and then you'll just fill it in. When, when I'm filling this thing in, I'm double checking to make sure that this shape right here matches this right here. I think that's the main thing. Don't fill it in all at once, but uh, definitely fill it in in sections to kind of match what you're doing. So anyway, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah. I did all right. <laughs> so that's what you guys are going to be doing. The main thing is, you know, the thickness of this would have to match the thickness of this. The thickness, width, length, depth, all the things of the background needs to match that. So best to you guys.